and society has been transformed. Now marriage is not between a man and a woman anymore. Marriage can be between a man and a man. A woman and a woman. We believed that the Cold War was over, but it's coming back and very strong. In economy, we see that the rich are becoming more and more rich, and the greed even, and the poor, more and more poor. Spiritually, people are not even ashamed to proclaim that they are atheists. For them, pleasure is their God, not kill themselves. As we heard in the news, people who committed suicide. I'm not uh, mocking on anybody, but I am just talking about the fact. They were well-to-do people. They had, I can say, everything that they can have in this world. But why commit suicide? So, the media, social media today has an influence that you can uh, not even understand. Just recently, I was, uh, I was coming back from Congo. When I was over there, they are asking young people, especially young girls, there is a phenomenon that is happening that young girls don't want to wear bras anymore. They ask them the question, why they are doing that? They said, oh, we are following the Kardashian. Because they see the Kardashian on social media, on TV, so they believe that's the idea, that's the way people have to live. So just to show us how the world has become one, there is no more secret in the world. Nobody is living like an island, isolated. The world has become small. And by that, without the said, we are seeing that many things that Jesus predicted that will come before his coming back can take place are taking shape. By that, we believe strongly that Jesus is coming. And this coming back is just a matter of time. But what is sad is that the world doesn't see any, any sense of urgency about this. Not just the world, even the church. We who call ourselves the church people or the Christian, we don't see the sense of urgency of the coming of Jesus. And that is why you see that many preachers today, they are preaching about prosperity, material prosperity. And supposed to preach about the assignment that Jesus left, which is the Great Commission. Taking the good news of the kingdom all over the world. Those preachers are becoming more and more rich. Making themselves rich. And the congregation is still poor. You know, one thing we love with God always act when it's the fullness of time. God will never act when too early or too late. Never. He will act when it's the due time. What does it mean that God, when he sees everything, every element that you want to see in the place, yeah. taking place, then God will act. And the difference between us human beings and the God is what? God sees things the existence of things when he had just said that. When God says something, that thing happens. It's already there. But for us humans, I will know that Pastor Noel exists because I've seen him. But before, I, could, I didn't see him. For me, he didn't exist. Maybe for him, it's the same thing. I didn't exist because I never met him. But from today, we know each other that we exist. But with God, it's not like that. God see the existence of things when they are said. Just take the example of we, human beings, how we come to the world. When uh, our parents had a good night, nothing seems to happen. But after nine months, or after even one, two, three months, we start seeing that there's a transformation. Yeah. And until nine months, someone came into the world. Mm -hmm. So with God, the things, there is a process. When he said it will happen, it will happen. And beloved, we need to be ready, be careful. The kingdom of heaven, beloved, exists. It's already here. Jesus came to inaugurate this 
kingdom when he came the first time. But for certain of us, this kingdom doesn't exist. Why? Because we don't see it. And maybe as you are listening to me, you are asking your, yourself the question to that where is that kingdom, if it really to exist, where it is located? And who are they who are citizens of that kingdom? I'm glad that you asked that question. I will tell you that the kingdom of heaven exists. All those who have accepted Jesus Christ in their lives as Lord and Savior are citizens of the kingdom of heaven. And where that kingdom is located, it is in your heart. Because the Holy Spirit is within you. The kingdom of heaven, beloved, is a reality. So we can't talk about the kingdom of heaven without talking about the creation in the beginning. So what I want to say by that is that I want to take us back so that we can understand it, why the kingdom of heaven you know, when God created human beings, God didn't create human beings to be in the world, separated from him. Adam, when God created him in the garden of heaven, he was supposed to be the manager or the governor. For us who are coming from the countries who were colonized by Europeans, we understand this uh, uh, dynamic. For example, uh, in the case of AD or Congo, we were colonized by the Belgians. What the, Belgium, the king of Belgium did, he was in Belgium. He never put his feet in Congo. But he sent his governor to go and rule Congo. This is the dynamic that God had in mind. God wanted the earth to be a domain where his influence reigned through Adam. So he put, he put Adam to be the manager to manage the whole his domain. 